Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Semifinal Saturday at Cape Central this afternoon had a lot of Tiger fans ready for the big game. Jeffrey Bullard spoke to fans beforehand about that excitement. I'm here to watch the Cape Central Tigers play. Bethany Robinson is about to grab something to eat before the Cape Central Tigers semifinals game. What do we got behind you? Yeah, <laughs> this massive grill. Um, we grilled about 500 hamburgers, uh, about 1,100 hot dogs. Jared Ritter is busy cooking and hosting this event in his new blazer. I just got this out of the box. This is the sequence. Had to get something special for semifinals, especially hosting semifinals, right? And inside the school, several families are gearing up for game time. It's literally in his blood. He's just, he's loved it since the beginning. Rory and Amy Diamond are talking about their son, number 14, Morgan Diamond. His love started probably when he was like four or five years old, and it's just, it's continuing to get stronger and stronger every year he's played. Which the Diamonds say they hope to instill in other young athletes through a program called Cape Youth Tackle Football. To come in and we tried to hope promote for them to come on in and be a Tiger at one, at one point. It's for all of uh, Southeast Missouri, but we really focus on trying to make it a feeder program for the high school. And they believe the knowledge of the game goes beyond surface level. You know, life is the big game. Football prepares you for the big game. It's a game of life. So. Back outside, Bethany Robinson tells me she'll cheer for the Tigers regardless of the outcome. Woo! Okay. Like that. In Cape Girardeau, Jeffrey Bullard, Heartland Sports. Awesome stuff from Jerry, Jim, from Jeffrey, and Bethany was right, and that's how all the Cape Tigers fans were at the stadium this afternoon. They got started on an electric note. First play from scrimmage for Cape. That was Zaire Thomas going all the way down the sidelines, but Fort Osage just seemed like they had their number on defense a number of times. A couple plays after that big run from Zaire. That was a turnover on downs for Cape, but give them credit. They clawed all the way to the finish, even down 56 to 13. This is in the closing minutes. Clayton McClard scored a touchdown to add to the scoreboard for them. They gave them everything in this game, in this season as well. Tigers started two and three, won eight straight to make it into this game. What a season for the Tigers who ended up with 10 wins, double the number of the last two seasons combined. Head coach Kent Gibbs so proud of his squad and made sure to let them know afterward. The big thing is, is, you know, be disappointed that we got beat today, but don't be disappointed in yourself as an individual or as a team. We, we accomplished a lot this year as far as wins and losses, but we also overcame, you know, things that you overcome all the time, not just maybe from this year, but the two previous years. And our kids just hung in there and kept working. And what I was, my message was basically, hey, you know, it's not always going to work out how you want it to work out. But at the end of the day, you get stronger by your failures. Use that to make yourself a better person, and I think our kids will do that. Well, again, what a season for the Tigers. Only six seniors on this team. Morgan Diamond, one of them. You heard from his parents earlier. Heck of a game from him, including two touchdown passes. Also, Keontae Dixon, Marshawn Edwards, Clayton McClard, Soren Janzow, and Theo Mackins, who are all going to leave a lasting impact on this program from the turnaround that they really helped lead. A tip of the cap to all six of you, and congratulations to the entire team for finishing as one of the top four teams in Class 5 this year.